Hey guys, Ken Kaplan here from Kaplan Cycles on site at the New England Motorcycle Museum. And this is a rare opportunity to buy an uncompleted dream. This is Tim McNaughton's custom, full on, frame up Harley Davidson chopper. This thing's a pretty badass machine. It's got a brand new RevTech 100 cubic inch engine. It's a RevTech 4x4. I have all the receipts for all the components on here. This engine's never been started. I believe the engine was, uh, let me just take a quick peek here. The uh, engine was $4,299. RevTech promises that this thing will pull 100 horsepower. That's one horsepower per cubic center. I've seen that in their advertisements. This engine came loaded with the chrome uh, rocker covers, chrome cam covers, chrome oil pump covers. Um, it has also has a brand new uh, five-speed transmission and the horseshoe style oil tank. The frame is a Paco frame and it's got a massive rear tire on it. I believe it's a, uh, um, let me read the side label on it here. It's a 240-50 R16 rear tire with an 80 spoke wheel on the rear and the front. I added up the cost of the parts it was $12,235 is what he has invested in this, and it's brand new. Never been started, never been run. Everything's here. If you've got a little bit of mechanical skill and a little bit of time on your hands, put the wiring harness on this, on this thing, uh, put the exhaust on it, and uh, you got yourself one hell of a brand new machine. Yeah, the, 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 um, the miscellaneous... Uh, I'll go with some of the parts. The oil tank was $285. It has an Arlen Ness headlight on it. That was $150. Uh, the training plate was $65. The forks, the lowers, the internals, the triple trees, and the tubes were $1,400 for the whole fork setup. The transmission, I estimated the transmission at $1,500. I couldn't find a receipt for that in this massive stack of receipts he has here. I think that's a little bit on the light side. I believe the training probably cost more than that. Uh, I put the wheels down at a grand because there wasn't a receipt for the wheels the wheels and tires for a grand. I think that's a little on the low end. So my, my estimate of the cost invested here is actually a little low on low, on low side. Um, then you've got the, the uh, rear brake assembly. The primary, uh, if you go on the other side of the engine, can you look at the primary? It's a full chrome inner, chrome outer, the whole primary assembly, and the components for the clutch are behind you on the floor. We'll go over that in, in a second. We'll go to that, we'll go back to that in a minute. Uh, the chain adjusters were 146 bucks. The gas tank, it's a um, stretched three gallon gas tank. Let's see, the um, front, the rear fender is a uh, wide flat rear fender. And then of course you got the, some of the mounting kits and miscellaneous hardware. Again, the total is $12,235. And everything is brand new. The only components that aren't new is this exhaust system. The two and the one was off his other. Uh, he had a, a big dog chopper, I think it was. He had two of these. So this this is um, um, this exhaust was actually the only component on the whole build that was used. He told me that that would uh, that would um, be a good choice for this bike. So. Uh, let me find a spot. Well, can I just throw it on the floor right here? I guess, for lack of a better idea, uh, to go over the receipts here and invoices. You've got the, the rake triple tree stuff. You've got the uh, eternal fork stop for the hourglass style fork necks. You've got, um, the, that's the Pro One billet stuff. It's got um, Rally Runner uh, front axle cover kit. Uh, the diamond, some diamond plate stuff. Um, here's, here's, Here's a receipt for $1,224 for, um, uh, for the frame. The frame was $1,220. Here's, here's the actual manufacturer's certificate of origin for the motorcycle frame. And uh, that's, uh, it was brand, it's a brand new, it's never been registered. So you get the manufacturer's certificate of origin uh, for the Paco frame. And here's the receipt for the engine. Uh, take a look, can you zoom in on the order right there? $4,578 for a RevTech 100 cubic inch 4x4 motor. Today, it's going to cost you even more for that motor. Um, this is what they ran. This is what they cost back then, 4578 And if you take a look, you'll see the motor's brand new. It's never been started. Uh, there's a bunch of literature from RevTech here, here. So we have the receipts and the certificate that we have their factory manufacturer receipt on the engine and the certificate of origin on the frame. So everything you need here for proof for registration is here. Uh, a bunch of information from RevTech on the motor, motor documentation, and then just a big, big never ending stack of receipts here. Um, chain adjusters, uh, oil tank mount kit, that's a $150 receipt, um, $44 receipt, uh, $146 receipt, rake triple trees, 
Um, I added I added up all the receipts and I came up with twelve thousand two hundred and thirty five dollars. Uh, the main thing being the engine at what was it forty five hundred and then the transmission. So about six grand there, the engine and transmission. And here's the assembly uh, describing the the motor and all the part numbers. Um, if you ever needed to do any service on it, all the part numbers for the engine are in here, and they're still available uh, from RevTech, of course. So um, it keeps on going, and just 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 tons of like I told you, the stacks of, of documentation. But you can tell, uh, you know, I, I looked at this bike and I had two visions when I saw it. One was clear coat over it the way it is and leave it raw metal, or paint it like a fire engine red with gold. I don't know why that. I guess a red and gold would, to me, would look really awesome. Here's another re receipt for 360 bucks. Like I said, Tim McNaughton, he, built, he bought all these components to build this bike new, and uh, he, due to health reasons, he never completed it. And the bike sat in his living room for many years, and he decided to sell it. So here it is, uh, your chance to buy a brand new $6,000 engine and tranny, uh, and all the other components you need to build yourself one kick-ass world-class chopper. And the best part about it, you can finish it with the colors you like. Who knows? Maybe you want gold. Maybe you want blue. Maybe you think it looked better black. It's up to you. Um, over here, I've got, check out this. This is one of the items I couldn't find the receipt for. It's, it's a brand new uh, chrome starter assembly for the engine. Brand new starter. Uh, you've got, you see that? Brand new starter. Brand new, brand new um, primary components. The whole gear set for the primary. Uh, the brand new primary chain in the box, the brand new clutch uh, pressure plate, and then your brand new clutch um, uh, assembly here with your steel plates and your fiber plates, Performance Alto, Performance Products Company, Performance Clutch. Um, so everything you need here to, to assemble the bike, the, uh, this is the um, cam chain adjuster. And then all the small components and some hardware in the box here. All of this will be boxed up, including the front fender and the front fender mount over here will be boxed up and shipped to you. Uh, or you can pick it up here, whatever you like to do. We can help you with shipping. We ship this bike anywhere in the country for about 500 bucks. So before we go there, um, I do want to add uh, the serial number on the engine ends in 935, which was my racing number for many, many moons. So um, I don't know if it's a sign, but the other thought I had was if I took this engine and training and put it in like an FXR, or, uh, and built a speedster out of it. That was that was a thought. So, but you could build it as a chopper. Everything's here, or you could um, pull the motor and put it in your, in your existing Harley. Let's say you have a full dresser. If you got a, an Evolution um, 80s or 90s Evolution full dresser, and you want a 100 cubic inch badass motor and training, boom, here it is. So, and then you've got the the whole rolling chassis left. So whatever you want to do with it, it's up to you. If you have any questions about the bike, call us. Junior will wrap it up. Um, I'll just say this is Kaplan America approved. It's all brand new stuff, quality stuff. You can't go wrong. You're gonna buy it for pennies on the dollar. He's got back then 13,000 into it. Today it'd probably be 20 grand because that was uh, you know in 2003 when he bought these components 16 years ago. So, anyways, that's all I have to say about it. I think it's awesome. I hope someone finishes it and enjoys it. So good luck bidding on it. The market's still bearing large dollars for custom choppers done to a high level. So you put a well, you put a, a high quality custom paint job on this bike, get it running well and you're gonna have something. You'll see a complete return on investment. Guys, we can ship this anywhere in the States and expensively message us your zip code for a quote. The quote on this will be the same as any other standard cruiser even though it's a couple feet longer. Um, it'll take up the same space as any other bike and it will not be more expensive. Uh, or call us and ask for Cody um, to ask about financing. We can offer financing on classics and this 03 chopper through the dealership. Thanks for watching this far. Call us with any questions. This is Ken Jr. signing off. Have a good weekend, guys. Good luck bidding and God bless America.